Does the New King James Version teach works salvation? Yes, it does. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18 in the King James Bible says, For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. You can't pretty up the gospel. It is what it is. It's foolishness to those that are lost. But unto us, the saved, in other words, which are saved, it is the power of God. Unto us, which are saved. You can be saved and know it. You do not have to work your way to heaven and think someday maybe I can get to heaven. Unto us, which are are saved. We understand that we are saved. All right. How does the New King James Version say it? Here we have the New King James Version. For the message of the cross, not the preaching, in other words, is foolishness to those who are perishing. They're not lost, they're just perishing. But to us who are being saved, uh-oh, being saved. That's works. It is the power of God. Unto us who are being saved. Hmm. Um, I wonder how the Catholics would think about that. Oh, here we have the New Revised Standard Version, Anglicized Catholic Edition. For the message about the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. Hmm. How about the uh, Revised Standard Version, Catholic Edition? For the word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. Being saved, yet again. What about the uh, New American Bible? This is one of the official Catholic Bibles that's out there. Um, the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. So, three different Catholic Bible versions, and they all read just like the New King James Version. Because Catholics have to work their way to heaven. They have to die in a state of grace. There's auricular confession where they have to go in and confess their sins to their priest, and then they have to do penance, holy penance, in order to atone for those sins, and there's venial sins, and there's mortal sins, and they have to make sure to stay in that state of grace and you have to continually go to church and be faithful and whatever else and then if you die you still might have to go to, through purgatory most of them do they go through purgatory again to have your sins paid for so they are being saved Catholics do not believe that you can say I am saved I know I'm saved many call it the sin of presumption if you say that check it out what about a Jewish Jewish Bible, Orthodox Jewish Bible, for the message of it's whatever there, the tree of the curse of God, is nourished to the ones perishing, but to us who are being delivered, and Yeshua, or whatever, whatever, is the their power of God, but uh, being delivered, find that interesting that the um, Jews when they were crucifying Jesus, Pilate says to them. Shall I crucify your king? And what did they say? We have no king but Caesar. And you know what? The Jews still have no king but Rome. Rome controls the Jewish people. The Jews do not control Rome. That's a lie of the devil. Uh, the Jews are controlled very much by the Vatican. And that's why their Orthodox Jewish Bible reads just like the Catholic Bibles do. And just like the New King James Version. Um, stay away from the New King James Version. The King James Bible lets you know that you are saved. Right here, are saved. Okay? And to the lost world, they think that that's foolishness. But uh, unto us which are saved, we understand the power of God. Our God can save us, regardless of the fact that we are sinners. But their God, he's not able to save them. He needs their righteousness to be added. Big problem.